pickup trucks jam these dirt roads in Baluchistan. The border dividing this remote, wild region is of little significance to these smugglers. They see themselves as Baluchis. Goods flow freely and illegally from Iranian to Pakistani Baluchistan. One of the most lucrative products is diesel. 40 liters of gasoline can be carried on a motorbike and earns a smuggler around three dollars. Enough to scrape together a living and to risk the dangers of the trade. Accidents are frequent. Smugglers risk not only losing their cargo and transport, but also their lives. The illegal trade in fuel is also taking place on the high seas. The Coast Guard is quick to respond with deadly force. Back on the road, this video captures the moment police killed a smuggler earlier this year. The incident sparked protests in Baluchistan. The province is one of the poorest in Iran. The Sunni population believes it is being discriminated by the Shia-led regime. With frustration and poverty rampant on both sides of the border, the rough terrain, not the police, is the only thing slowing down the smugglers. For more on this story, let's bring in Shazab Jelani from DW Asia. Shazab, thank you so much for joining us. We saw some pretty incredible pictures in that report. How organized is this smuggling operation? Well, it exists on both sides of the border. Uh, the allegation uh, in Iran is that the Iranian Revolutionary Guards uh, are part and parcel of this. On the Pakistani side, it's the Frontier Corps, which is the paramilitary organization uh, charged with uh, manning the border, that they are involved. Obviously, both sides officially deny this. But uh, facts on the ground and the pictures that we have seen speak for themselves that this is uh, pervasive. It has been going on for a number of years, especially after sanctions against uh, Iran. Uh, and it is a thriving and risky business. You said, Shazab, this has been going on for a number of years. How much can we attribute this uh, to the U.S. sanctions, this is a jump in this trade? So my sense is that uh, after 2013, uh, this has really picked up. Uh, I've been to this uh, border area on the Pakistani side, and I can tell you uh, that this is a really impoverished area. They don't have uh, any employment. Uh, a lot of young men, they, they don't have health facilities, schools, clean drinking water. Uh, and so they are uh, forced to go for this kind of activity. And it simply cannot go on uh, unless they pay bribes to security officials. Uh, so there are people on both sides of the border. They are connected by kinship. Uh, they are both uh, Baloch, ethnic Baloch, often uh, Sunni Muslims. Uh, and when there is a demand on Pakistani side and plenty of supply on the Iranian side, uh, it will happen. If you look at the pictures, Shazab, there is a lot of traffic on these roads. There are a lot of vehicles underway here. Is it really just diesel that's being transported? Well, it's diesel and oil uh, primarily. Uh, because remember, on the Pakistani no, side, I, I uh, the border is about 1,000 or more than 1,000 kilometers away from the provincial capital, Quetta. So for these people, they can't rely on the provincial capital to, uh, uh, provincial government to come to their help. They rely heavily on goods and services from across the border, not just oil, but electricity and other smuggling goods. And this part of the border is known, it's notorious for human smuggling as well as drug smuggling. Uh, but this trade is obviously uh, required on the Pakistani side. This smuggling is, uh, takes place because, as I said, there is plenty of supply from the Iranian side and huge demand and shortage on the Pakistani side. If we talk specifically about the oil here, what is Iran's interest in curbing the smuggling? Well, obviously, um, Iran has long said that uh, they, uh, they will not allow their border to be violated for human smuggling, for drug smuggling, and for uh, oil. Uh, but obviously, we know that Iran is uh, hurting from inside because of the sanctions, because of this renewed focus uh, on uh, isolating Iran. 
So there's a, there's an allegation that parts of the Iranian government uh, are turning a blind eye to this. Mm -hmm. uh, now, as we've just seen in these pictures, when they do find out people uh, crossing the border, taking um, millions of barrels of oil from Sistan, Balochistan province, mm -hmm. they sometimes stop them by force and people have been killed on the Iranian side. So officially they will say we are taking it seriously, we will prevent it, but on the ground it goes on. All right, DW's Shahzab Jilani reporting for us. Thank you very much for your analysis.